What's up YouTube? Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper here. I'm out here today at Doe Skin Ranch uh, in the Balcones Canyonlands National Wildlife Refuge. I'm actually here today uh, because I'm hosting a reptile table uh, with this girl uh, who is a red phase um, bull snake and quite a few other snakes, lizards, tortoises, uh, other animals. Seeing as this is my second reptile table of the year, I thought I would take you guys through the experience and do a bit of filming. I'm here with my friend Michael today, who's big on paleontology, and a volunteer named Andy, who is a junior master naturalist. There are hiking trails, people going on, bird watching tours, stuff like that. Uh, but I'll be here all day from 10 to 2. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Sometimes I'll just walk around with her, <laughs> hanging out around my neck or on my arm. Like my dog. Yeah, exactly yeah, like your dog. Uh, they can be potty trained. They're like comparing to a, to a rubber snake because she looks a lot like a rat snake here. Oh yeah, she's yeah, getting she, a little testy. She's a little like of colubrid from Central America, primarily. There are some that actually and a snake. Right. So they kind they almost do a little like. The males actually have these little bumps on their heads. Do you see those? When you're holding a snake, uh, you want to put one hand about a third of the way down her body, like right here, and the other hand you want to use to support her tail. Now she's semi-arboreal, which means she lives partially in the trees, which means she's going to be constricting you a little bit just so she can hold on. Move your hand up a bit. There we go. And don't grab onto a snake. Just let it go wherever it wants. Yeah. And then adjust your hands as necessary. Do you see any really sharp claws on him? Oops, sorry. No, do you see any big teeth on him? Not really. So he has no real way to defend himself. So if a predator out in the outback or something comes across him, uh, what he's actually going to do to try to protect his life, he's going to open his mouth as wide as he can, he's going to stick that bright blue tongue out, and he's going to hiss as loud as he can. Hopefully, that bright flash of blue and that loud noise is enough to startle the predator long enough for him to book it out of there and he will run fast. There, try to... Yeah, she's a little clingy. Yeah, remember when we there, felt the, there, the there, snake like open, putting its tongue perfect. on us? It felt like being brushed by a Remember the go. giant constrictor? You know, she's like the geckos you find around your house except yeah. a little bit bigger. Um, in being one of the smartest reptiles in the world, these can actually learn their names, they can come when called, and they can be potty trained. Ah. So, we're going to start down here. This guy is going to touch Yeah. They have very small scales. Uh, so they're almost a... Uh, they're not as smooth as a snake. No, definitely not as smooth as a snake, but for lizards, they're pretty soft. Why'd that turtle trying to get out? He's been doing that all day. That's just kind of his thing. Um, he would, if we let him out of this tub, he would head off into the grass and we would never see him again. So she's not native to here, but she was found in Lago Vista by one of my friends. She was crossing their driveway. So this is somebody's pet. It was either released or it managed to escape. We looked for the owner when she showed up, but we couldn't find the owner, so she lives at my house now. So uh, bones like that, like along, uh, they so. expanded yeah. and came outside oh, sorry, the body girl. and became a tough shell to protect them. Well, this is a python, so they are a species of constrictor. Uh, they're not like the snakes we have around here. A lot of people actually consider pythons to be, yeah, that she's very squishy. A lot of people actually consider pythons to be uh, the most primitive form of snake. Does she eat something to grab onto her? Hmm? Does she eat something? This one's just a baby, is that what she you're She last saying? ate like three days. Yeah, she's she's still a juvenile. When she's an adult, she'll be about six feet long, 25 pounds. They're very heavy bodied snakes. Uh, she last ate about three days ago. It feels so nice. The boy is actually this one, and the girl is this one. Um, the girl has to be bigger because she's going to have the uh, babies, yeah. The males, you can actually tell because they've got like these. They're biting me. They've got this. Are they? No, I feel like it. Oh, yeah, they've got little spines on their legs. 
The males actually have these little bumps on their heads. Do you see those? Oh, those little horns? Oh, yeah. The females have them too, but they're much less pronounced. Oh, I can hear it. The males also have thicker antenna. That's how you oh, tell. Oh, feels so weird. You heard this one, right? Yeah, I uh, Crickets and grasshoppers and stuff, they, they can rub their legs together, but these guys actually breathe out to make the noise. Right above his mouth, there's like a... So this is a boy? Yes, this one's a boy. It's like eyes. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. Like, um, you know about the Burmese python? She's a dwarf subspecies of boa. Uh, she will reach to be about seven feet long, but most boas will reach about 14. Put your hand about a third of the way down her body and the other one supporting her tail. If she starts constricting it all, that's just her trying to hold on. This one's name is Scylla. To her left, this one is called a blood python. Uh, they're known as that because they are, uh, no. as, a, as adults, they typically get a darker reddish color. Um, this one is still a juvenile. She'll reach to be about six feet long and 25 pounds. They're very heavy set snakes. And then the three over here are Texas natives. Uh, this one right here is a trans pecos rat snake, native to far west Texas. Um, this one in here is a bull snake. Uh, you won't find them in this color. This is a red phase bull snake. Uh, the ones around here are going to be tan or yellow usually. Uh, and this one in here it's is a Mexican, a Mexican black king snake, yeah. A lot of people like to use these in photo shoots because they're so nicely dark colored.